LGS is pretty crazy this year. LG is going beyond just simple AI and making products that connect outside of just your home. In this video, I'll be showing a couple different things that LG has inside of the house that, you know, make it more connected. So my hand is getting better. My next video is going to be the 2019 Smartphone Durability Awards. But first, LG brought me out here to CES 2020 to check out their LG ThinQ Smart Home. And my favorite thing, <laughs> you might not think it, but it's this smart door. Check this out. Do you remember that technology inside of the LG G8 where you know it can recognize your face but also the veins inside of your palm? Well, there's a very useful implementation of that technology here inside of this smart door. So as I'm walking up to my house, I can just look at the door. It'll see me come up and then I can put my hand up. The door unlocks and I can get inside of my house. It's pretty cool, all automatic. And my favorite part is that behind this door is a massive display. It's also a mirror so you can see how you look before you leave the house. But you can also get the weather, you can get the traffic reports, it can tell you if you've gotten any deliveries. It's just all the information you need right there on the inside of your door. You might be thinking to yourself, yeah Jerry, that's just like a smart doorbell, but there's actually a lot more to this door than just that. So over here on the side, part of the design is that there's little cubby holes that can be accessed by someone who's delivering a package. So if I'm a delivery guy, I have a package, I can place my QR code in this little window, and I have two options. One, I have a box down here for just your normal everyday boxes, packages and stuff, that'll keep them safe. And the second option is there's an actual fridge built in to the smart door that'll keep your food fresh or other stuff that needs to be kept cold for a long time. The smart door is pretty useful. And then right here next to the door is where you pull it out. Safe access to both the fridge and the package compartment. The smart door with the built-in fridge is pretty smart. Still here in the LG ThinQ Smart Home. Remember that transparent TV that we saw a couple weeks ago? This is a real world application of that transparent OLED technology here on this refrigerator. So here we have the screen and we can actually dim the screen and see inside of the fridge at the exact same time. So we can see, you know, what we have left. This smart fridge can order the food that we're running out of as well as give recipes for the food that we do have and lets you know when things expire and all that stuff. I think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty solid implementation of that transparent OLED technology. So this machine is what LG's calling the ThinQ Fit Collection. So these are measurements right here that you can actually try on outfits in real time. So there we have me right here. We can see that the uh, mannequin is adjustable in real time. And uh, let's see what this does. Looks like we can uh, add some hair there. Funny enough, this is actually the same hairstyle I had in high school. And we can try on other clothes and see what they look like in real time. Pretty cool. And once you've virtually tried on your outfit, you can buy it straight from the ThinQ Fit collection. So this thing behind me right here is one of LG's smart vehicles, which has a LG AI inside that is fairly intuitive. It's kind of like a rideshare situation where you can take your face, put it up to the window, and if you're the person who's supposed to be inside, it'll unlock and light up at the seat to tell you where you're sitting inside of the car. So we're gonna get inside here. Remember, this thing is a concept and not live right now, but it is pretty cool. So sitting here, we have speakers on either side of my head that kind of create a little cocoon of sound. And if we look over here on the other side, since the car is self-driving, it has a full 65-inch OLED TV that can pop up and give you all kinds of options for what you can watch. It picks up right where you left off from your home TV and plays it while you're driving. Since all the seats are angled inward at 15 degrees, each individual seat can watch their own movie. And even better, if there's more than one passenger, hi LG, do split screen. Splitting screen. Each passenger has their own screen they can watch with different content on each one. One of my favorite parts is if we reach down here, there's a full on beverage cooler right here with all kinds of drinks. 
and each time I grab one, the smart vehicle knows I've grabbed it and charges me. And if I put it back, it cancels it off my car. It can do all that with these cameras up here in the top of the roof. There's a place to hang your coat over here. Having an automatic smart vehicle like this would be good for like, you know, decreasing traffic. Where the vehicle can, you know, take you to the airport or take you to your restaurant, drop you off and then go park back at home. You won't ever have to pay for parking. And the nice thing about the AI inside of this is that if you are late for your restaurant, you know, like if there's traffic or something, the car can actually change the schedule for you. So you've seen the robotic arm that MKBHD has that mounts its camera. This is something that LG is using in an automated kitchen. We have some of these back here that are helping a chef make some noodles. Each of the little head units right here can have detachable arms that each do a different thing. This robot right here is actually doing some of the dishwashing, which makes sense. Robots can help with some of the mundane tasks, which leaves the chef and waiters able to concentrate on more of the creative things. So overall, I'm a pretty huge fan of where the technology is headed. You know, it's interesting to see all of the different areas of your life connected into one single unit. And you know, it just kind of streamlines stuff. Let me know what you think though. Do you think the connected way is the way to go? Which of these technologies do you like most? My favorite is, you know, kind of the door and the robotic arm that help with the dishes. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them down there as well. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, and thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you around.